Hi, I'm Pamela Madsen, and welcome to another segment of Journey to the Crib. And I'm here with Dr. Dave Kreiner, who is the founder of East Coast Fertility. Thanks for joining us. So one of the things that I find really exciting about your work are the continuation of your development of innovative programs that really serve patients, frankly, as opposed to you. And one of those programs is micro IVF. Can you talk a little bit about it? Sure, um, Pam, the micro IVF program is um, it's offered to all of our patients, but it's ideally suited for the younger patient who either has not even done inseminations yet as an alternative to insemination, or um, maybe they don't want to do a full stimulation with all the medications that a, uh, a traditional IVF uh, requires. So what we do with the mini IVF or micro IVF is we treat patients with uh, Clomid, the fertility pills, for five days. I call that the baby aspirin, the fertility drugs. That's a good name <laughs> right. for it. Okay. And then they just take um, very low dose injectable hormones for two days following the pills. Just, just two days? Just two days. Two and days the lowest, of shots? And the lowest dose. Wow, where were you when I was going through this? Okay. We monitor them until the eggs are mature. Sometimes it happens in another two days or so. Uh -huh. And then we take them to retrieval just as we would with a traditional IVF. We process the sperm, we fertilize the eggs, and we do the ultrasound guided embryo transfer just as we would with a traditional IVF. So what may seem like low tech to patients doing IUI is actually more work or harder on our bodies than doing a mini IVF. Am I, am I getting that right? It's an interesting perspective that you raise and that's exactly right. Um, you're taking so much less hormone than you are if you're doing a gonadotropin IUI or insemination cycle. And as you know, the effects that these oh, drugs can have on, on <laughs> women is, is quite significant. My husband used to call to see if it was safe to come home. So not only am I gonna have less fertility drugs in my body, um, but I'm going to have a higher success rate than if I was doing IUI? That's an amazing thing about it. Yet the cost is about the same. 